What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we're in Raleigh, North Carolina and we're getting ready to check out another beautiful ultra modern home. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. Say hello to the Atwood. This is from AR Homes Hearthstone Luxury Homes and it features four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, and all of that sits inside of approximately 4,616 square feet. Now this home, it's got some super cool features that we have never seen before, and I think you guys are really gonna like. But with that, if you are interested in this home, this particular model just sold for $2,395,000. But with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. So this thing, oh man, I tell you what, I do, really love me some modern homes. I like that this one right here kind of brings that exterior brick inside. I think that's a cool feature, but this is of course the view that you're greeted with when you do first walk in. Views clear out into the backyard. You've got a nice staircase right here going up to all of the secondary bedrooms, and then you've got this great big foyer right here. Huge pivot door, and actually I'm going to show you something with the pivot door in just a second. And then uh, you got a little sitting area over here just to kind of welcome the guests when they do a first arrive. But this right here, whoo, this is cool. It's like a, ready for it, you got a little button right here. And when I hit it, kind of got like the privacy glass. So that's pretty neat. I thought that was a cool feature. And then there's several other ones as we kind of transition through the house. But I know we get a lot of comments all the time about having these big glass doors like that. So having the, instead of a blind, having the privacy glass, pretty neat. Anyway, from there, we're coming into the living room. Of course, exposed beams going all the way through the living room and the dining room. Love that. You've got the sliding glass doors, which we'll get out onto that back patio in just a minute. But these sliding glass doors open all the way up on either side. So you've got that nice indoor, outdoor, living experience like in the fall and stuff like that you know when it's nice or maybe in the heat of the summer where you still want to kind of be in the shade a little bit but nice big fireplace right here you got the surround going all the way up to the ceiling and then back behind us you've got views into the dining room and the kitchen area, you can kind of see some cool little accent lights over there. Just a lot of different lines and stuff going throughout the home. But uh, let's go ahead and stick over here to this side of the house. And then we'll, we'll get back over there. So you kind of wrap around. And you come to the powder room, which sits just behind the fireplace in the living room. Nice big floating vanity. And then the toilet, kind of a cool... Oh, well, it's not 3D. I was thinking it was going to be like a textured accent wall, but not quite. And then there is a kind of linen closet, almost like a coat closet, but you might be able to put something over up underneath of the stairs uh, when you do first walk in. I wouldn't imagine that you would use this for a coat closet, more of like a, a linen closet or something. An overcoat closet for right here in the master bedroom. So really pretty room, nicely decorated. You've got great big windows. I don't think these have the privacy glass, but that would be kind of cool, right? And then this one's got, this is textured. Yeah, it is. Some cool pennant lights on either side of the bed itself. And then just a nice big space, some kind of modern recessed lights. And then just through this door is the ensuite. Now I haven't been too far into this home, so kind of excited about it. There's, uh, you know, I was in the living, air, living room area and stuff like that, but huge vanity on this side. It's actually got a double vanity, one on either side, but this is the first one. And that sits right next to that shower. Whew, goodness gracious. Got a nice little soaking tub. And then you've got 
the second of the two vanities. Nice little transom window up there. And then around the corner, you've got the water closet with the toilet. And this one's nice because it, it shows off that it's got the blinds, like little curtains, you know what I mean? But check out this shower. Ooh, this thing is massive. So you've got zero threshold going into it. And then, I mean, you could literally park a Volkswagen Beetle in here. You got the rainfall shower head, one shower head right here, another removable shower head, and a bench. We are, I'm, I'm excited about the lineup that we have here in North Carolina this time. It's been a while since we've been to North Carolina, but last time uh, we got into some Raleigh Custom Homes, which everybody seemed to like. We're gonna go revisit them here on this trip. But, uh, and there's a lot of new builders that we get to see too, uh, like AR Hearthstone, pretty excited. I think we're only doing one of their homes though, I'm not sure. But huge closet, this thing has got all the stuff. And I like the light fixture. You got a little attic access, it looks like, in here. All right, now let's go get into the good stuff, like the kitchen, you know. Oh, we almost missed the door. Can't be doing that. Great big linen closet. I try not to miss things. Sometimes I do, because I just get to rambling, you know what I mean? It happens. All right, so let's go ahead and hop out onto the patio real quick. Check out what all is back here. Nice, easy to open doors, I like that. You've got a secondary fireplace, a nice little built-in, and then some cool rustic ceilings in here. I like that a lot. And then you've got the outdoor grill, access into the office space, and then as you can see, you've got screens going around. This is a screen door so you can access the pool area. But I will show you another little, there's a lot of remotes in this home. It's one of them, I wouldn't necessarily call it, maybe it's a smart home, but let's see. I'm gonna try not to spin you around too much. But if you haven't seen one before, you've got another little handy dandy remote right here. You can close that screen back there. You can kind of see it coming down. I'm not going to let it go all the way down, but so you can close that, open up these doors all the way and uh, just kind of hang out. So pretty handy. But then we find ourselves in the dining room. Keeping with these cool little pendant lights like we saw in the powder room. Love that. Just a nice big table, still got some of the exposed beams. And then this section over here is pretty neat. It's just kind of like a artsy kind of setup. I just like the shelves, how they're different lengths and stuff. Of course, you put yourself a nice big china cabinet right here or some other buffet or credenza, something like that. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and hit up the kitchen. There's the office back behind us, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Kitchen, nice big island. Love these countertops. This one's kind of got like a modern-y look to it. You got all these nice flush mount cabinets. You got the trash can cabinet, undermount sink looking out into everything and then the dishwasher kind of a little bar area or coffee spot if you will and then this door right here you would think that it would be like a flush mount refrigerator something like that but oh no this thing is a pantry and i don't think i thought it was going to have automatic lights but it doesn't there we go I should have turned that on earlier. But kind of a cool pantry, just hidden away. I love the, the wooden shelves in here. You got another sink, another dishwasher, and then all the open shelves. And then it also has a nice secondary refrigerator, which is handy. 
Then along the back wall, we've got the gas stove and oven. And then this is kind of cool. It's got the stainless, stainless range hood up above it. And then even more cabinets up here. This is more so kind of what I was talking about as opposed to what's on the island. It's just, there's no handles or anything. It's just flush. But then along the back wall, another refrigerator, tons of cabinets, kind of going all the way up to the ceiling. And then you even got the microwave over here. I want to open up some of these. Let's see. There we go. And then through here, this is the mud room slash laundry room. So you got more counter space with a little wash basin and then the washer dryer hookups, some nice open shelves. And then check out this kind of cool little hall tree with the different angles and levels and stuff. Pretty neat. And then through here, I don't know what all's in here, maybe an office. This is the three stall garage. One, two, three, with attic access out here too. I don't know, I don't wanna to go too far. I don't know what all they got going on in there. But uh, the light switches, I did wanna show this too. I don't wanna hit anything, but they're all pretty low, like down here by your hand, you know what I mean? But just cool little buttons. So just as you're walking in, it's too easy to reach down here and whoop. All right, what all do we have down here? So it kind of wraps around a little bit. I don't know if I can show it to you, but you got this wall. See how it kind of does this thing right here? And this hallway leads back to something. Looks like maybe like a junior suite or something. But you got another linen closet. And then our second full bathroom with the single vanity, the toilet and the standalone shower. And then as you can see, there's access from this bedroom right here into that bathroom. So good sized bedroom, kind of sits on the side of the house right behind the, the garage. into its closet. Actually got quite a bit of space for a step in, you know what I mean? Like I was more so expecting a walk-in, but this would probably be more so like a guest room or a junior suite. And in this part, just to our left, leads into the office. So this is kind of, I like this office. Little unique, little different, kind of two levels. You got a little sitting area down here. So this is where you can kind of get those creative juices flowing. And then up here is where all the business happens. Kind of some cool built-ins. Pretty neat. Now I haven't been showing this. I, I've noticed it in a few homes. Uh, you know, in this price range, but I just wanted to point out the registers, which is cool. They kind of match. Gone are the, the white, black, whatever color registers you have in your, in your house, you know what I mean? I think we've got black ones, but I just like that it matches the floor color. Anyway, from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. If you are interested in this home or AR Hearthstone Homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothypetelivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, filter based off the of number of bedrooms, square footage, price, layout, all that fun stuff. Watch the tour like you are right now, and then get your dream home underway. All right, top of the stairs. What do we have? This is pretty neat. Great big den area. Ooh, like a game room slash bar. 
It's got all the stuff in here. Now, obviously, just treat this as like ideas, things that you could do, because ultimately it's going to be, you know, up to you in terms of what you do. Now, I do like this. Check out this like accent piece. It's got the lights kind of backlighting it, which is pretty neat. I like that. Oh, Christmas movies. Me and Jen have been going hard on some Christmas movies. We're, uh, we're in the season. Another little linen closet. She was, I think, we turned one on, or she turned one on last night. And uh, I don't remember what it was about. But it wasn't one of those with like the happy ending you always think of. Um, it was a little different. It was uh, this girl ended up getting a heart transplant and uh, she started seeing this guy and they were kind of hanging out and stuff like that and come to find out she was only seeing him because she had his heart. Uh, he, he died and was able to, she was the, he was the reason that she got the heart. But anyway, uh, then she finally realizes that but in, in the process, it led her to be like a better person because she was like drinking a lot and, and partying and all this stuff. And at the end of it, you know, she went on to kind of fulfill her dreams while also helping out a bunch of people. So it was a pretty neat story, but just a different style of Christmas story. You know what I mean? Anyway, enough rambling. Just thought I'd share that with you. I think this is the first bedroom up here. Pretty neat, tall ceilings. I'm lost at this point. We just came through a bathroom. I know these guys got a floor plan, so y'all are gonna have to, y'all guide me. <laughs> got another den area. That's pretty neat. This one kind of steps down a little bit. It's like the kids game room. All the parents can be partying in the big room over there. And all the kids can come over here and hang out. I think there's only two bedrooms up here since it was two bedrooms downstairs. So this is the, the second one up here, fourth overall. And then it's got its own ensuite. Nice big vanity. I've been walking through trying to think what I'm gonna put everything as. You know what I mean? Time to rate. Kind of a fun backsplash, little tile right here in the shower and tub. And then all the way at the back of this one, it's got a nice big closet too. Yeah, still thinking. It's got a, uh, I know the features and amenity part. This is like a storage closet just happens to house the the brains right now and then we are back in this little corridor 